Hey guys, it's going to Mar again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on AR Foundation. We've been doing many examples with body tracking and specifically using AR Kit. And in this example, I'm pretty excited specifically for Halloween because I'm going to actually make me be on fire. I'm going to be adding particles to every part of my body. We're going to be doing the hands, the shoulders, the head, also my legs, and then also my hips. So we're going to look like we're on fire. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys. So let me show you what we're going to be doing and also give you a demo of what I did last time. So last time I show you how we could use particles to basically position them in areas of our body. In this case, I have particles that I have on my head. I have a few particles on my hands and then as I move around the the particles follow my position and that's because we're using the head and also hand positions that body tracking is giving to us and then I also have one where we did a dark mode where I actually turn off the lights I dim the lights down and you can see how everything is precisely you know changing the position based on my hands and also the head so what I want to do is I want to do one where we have you know entire particles all in my hip so so that i look like more of a fireman and as i'm walking around then we can we can see that i'm in fire so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clone the particles that i have in my in my head and also position them in my basically in my hip and also my my legs so let's go ahead and experiment with that the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to clone the human body tracking with particles because we're going to be using that so let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to clone it. And this one can be, we can just call it full and then double click on it so that we can have something different. So particles should show on your hands and head. So instead of doing that, we're just going to do, let me just change the instructions. This is going to be particles should show on your entire body, pretty much body, make it, it look like you are a man on fire. Or we can just say a person on fire since girls can also try this all right so i think that that's everything that we do there and then if you look if you notice i have this prefab that we created previously i'm going to clone it and then this one is going to be full meaning that we're just going to do particles everywhere and then i'm just going to drag it and drop it here and then i'm going to focus on this and then just like i did before i'm going to be changing the look and feel of the cube which has a transparency and let me just bring it in so that we can see. I'm going to leave it a little bit transparent so we know where to position. And then I'm also going to, let me go ahead and just unpack this completely. We're going to delete this because we're going to have to create a prefab out of it anyways. So we're going to start with that. And then I'm going to go into my hands. And the hands already have particles in them. I'm going to delete them because I'm going to use a different one. And then let me go into the other hand. This one is also going to be using a different one. And I'm just gonna use the one that we have on the head because I, I really like that one and we can just tweak it a little bit more. So I already have one that you know makes me look on fire. I'm gonna duplicate that in, in some of the bigger areas. One is gonna be right on my hip, and then we can probably put one in each each of the feet that I that I have here, and then we'll do the same thing with maybe the shoulder, maybe the hand, and then so on. So this one looks fine. I can I can just start with that one. We can leave it there. And then what I'm going to do, let me just collapse this one more time. And we can just create a couple of them. We're just going to use them for different areas. All right, so one of the areas that I'm going to be using it on is going to be, you know, we're going to have one maybe in the middle area here. So I'm just going to look and find that. So if I click on it, it's going to take me right into that. I'm going to hit the F key. So it's going to be right at the root. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab one of them and I'm going to put it right at the root. And then I'm going to change the position X, Y, and Z so that we can we can place it. And then what I'm going to do is I want to play with this. I want to see if we can change the basically the either the emission or or how high this goes. Maybe what I'll do is I'll have this one fi the fire going up, so we can change the force over time. And if we enable that and actually change the Y value, let me see if I can if I can change that. If I can hit there we go. So I think if I do Y in this case, it's my computer is running slow for some reason. 
Okay, so if we look at y, y is actually pointing towards the forward direction. And if you look at, this is actually gonna be x. So if you look at the color here, red, it's actually that. So x is going to be, we're just gonna move this one to go go up. So it's gonna make it like we're, we're on fire. And I think one, I think 10 is just too high. Let's do two. Okay, two works fine. And you can see that that itself is giving us, giving us like a, a fire look. And then the other thing that I want to do is I want to change this to be maybe 0 0.3. 0 0.3 works fine there. And let's go in, let's go and do three here. Okay, there we go. I'm going to do 2.5. I think that's just too much. Okay, so I think I think I'm happy with that. And then maybe we can lower it just a tiny bit. All right, so let's do the same thing with the with the legs. We're gonna be adding one right here and then one right here. And I'm gonna clone this one because this one looks cool. And instead of giving it names, let's just call it particles, since this is no longer a particle. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna delete these ones. We can tweak the one that I just that I just work with. And then I'm just gonna find the feet. Okay, perfect. It's actually so I can just copy this one and then right about I think I think right about there works fine. We can place one right here. I'm gonna just put it inside and then just change the X, Y, and Z. And you can see that we're gonna be we're gonna be on fire. <laughs> I'm actually gonna move it forward just a tiny bit more. There we go. I think that works. And for this one, I think I'm gonna change the force that I have on the x value. Let's do 2.3, or or maybe even just two. There we go. I think that that works. And I'm gonna bring it down just a tiny bit more. Okay. I think I, I think I like that. All right, and then let's just copy that, and then let's do the same thing on the on the other foot. So it's gonna be right here. I'm gonna just move it up inside of the cube, and then we're just gonna do zero, 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 and then we can just play around. I'm gonna go into orthographic view so that we can place it just like we did the other one. I think that something like that works. I'm gonna go into the other axis. I think that works there. And then lastly, okay, so I think, I think that's fine. Let me just move it. A tiny bit to the right, to the, yep, to my right. All right, and I'm gonna go into perspective mode now, and we can see, okay, so I think, I think that looks cool. And then lastly, I'm go, I think I'm gonna do one where we, we have one right here, one right here, and then we can just have two little ones on the, on my arm. So, okay, so let's just do, let's just use this one, the head particle. And then I'm gonna go into my hand here. I'm just gonna clone it and then change the position of X, Y, and Z. And again, I'm going to be changing the size of this one. So this one is going to be, we can do 0.4 there. Let's rename it as well. And I promise you, promise you this is gonna look really cool. I know it's just not as fun to, to work on it. I actually enjoy working on it, to be honest. It's just a lot of tweaking and Okay, so then we'll do the same thing on this hand, except we just change X, Y, and Z there. Okay, and then let's do the same thing with this and this position. Okay, that's gonna be our right forearm and our left forearm. Okay, let me just select that one. Gonna do the same thing there. Oh, let me undo. Make sure that I am right there in that position so that we can, so make sure that you're selecting the object where you want to be. Otherwise, the particle effect is gonna go right all the way to the bottom, which is gonna be outside of the skeleton, and we don't want to do that. Okay, and this one, I think, I think point two works fine. And okay, I think that that works fine. Now what I'll do is I'll do the exact same thing on the other, on the left forearm. I'm gonna click on the cube, and then go inside. Again, zero, zero, zero. And then at the end, we're gonna be tweaking everything just to make it look cooler. And then I'll do the same thing on this one. This one is going to be the left arm object. And okay, so I think that looks good. And then lastly, we're just gonna do that one on the right arm. Just move it inside. And we'll just duplicate this. Do zero, zero, zero. All right, so right now, yeah, this looks cool, but I think at the same time, I wanted to, I wanted to have more life and right now, you know, this is circling. And for the head, I think I think that's fine. And, and to be honest, I think even for the head, we can just add a little bit of physics 
just to move it up a little bit. And let's start with a head and we can do, so I'm gonna do the force over time and remember this is the, the X value. So I'm gonna do just point 0.1 just to make it look like the fire, just like real fire, right? Fire is going up and then, okay, so I think that's good for the, for the head. And then for the arms, I'm gonna do something similar. So I'm gonna grab, let me grab this one right here. And then we'll do, again, we'll just do force over time. And then I think I did 0.2. We can do, I think 0.2 is fine on this one too. And let's grab the other arm. And then actually the other hand. And you know what I mean, right? <laughs> okay, and then we'll do the same thing with the left forearm, except I'm gonna I'm gonna exaggerate it a tiny bit, and let's just go here and then just do 0.5. Okay, so these ones we're gonna do 0.5, and all the little ones, and then I'll do the same thing on this one. 0.5. Let's do the same thing on the shoulders, and I'm gonna do force over time, exaggerate it a tiny bit. I think on that one, if I exaggerate, it's colliding with the head. So let's let's leave that one as it is. Okay, so we can exaggerate it there. The head, we can we can exaggerate it a little bit more. Let's do 0.5. Okay, I think, I think that looks really cool. And then I think that works fine, works fine, and perfect. I think I'm happy with this, I don't need to. So the last ones that I think we need, we need at least one here and one here, otherwise it's not gonna look right. Uh, we, want to, we want to use as much as the body as we can. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab this game object and that game object is gonna be on the right toes and so I'm gonna paste it right there and then go inside just like we did before. And then the size of this one, it's going to be, actually we can make it a little bit smaller. Let's do 0 0.2. And then this one, I'm gonna make something a little bit different. I'll show you what it is. We're gonna change the force over time. We're gonna leave this one at zero, but we're gonna change Y. And this one can be, we can exaggerate it. And then in fact, I'm gonna go back a, a little bit. So just remember, Let's just let's just leave it like that, and then and then we can we can take it at the end. Okay, and let's do the same thing on the other toe. So I'm gonna do the same thing there, and then go zero zero zero. Okay, zero zero zero. Perfect, and I think I think that works fine. And and now what I can do is I'm gonna go back a tiny bit more. So let's select them both, and then let's go back inside. Okay, now we're gonna be a person on fire. And, okay, so the last thing that I wanna do that I just noticed, we had scale in the in some of these particles and I wanna make sure that they're all as clean as we can they can be. So I'm gonna go into the scale of each one of them and actually I'm selecting them all. And then what that's gonna do, it's going to make sure that we have a clean clean scale. I don't wanna do the same thing on the, on the rotation. Actually, I can do the rotation because the rotation, I don't want to have, oh, actually, that's going to change it. <laughs> so let me undo that. So the rotation, we're not going to touch because if I change the rotation, it's going to change what we just did. But the scale can be a 111. I don't need to do anything special there. But this is how it's going to look as soon as we run it in body tracking. I'm really excited about how I'm going to look like a fire person. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is let's go ahead and remove the search. And then let's change back or or, or transparency, I'm gonna go back to, you know, not having any transparency. And then I'm gonna go back and select all the particles again, just to see how that looks. So this is similar to how that's gonna look when we are running on the device. We're just gonna look like we're a person on fire. So that's just gonna look really cool. So let me go ahead and get this build. So I'm gonna go into file and then build settings. And remember that we didn't add this scene just yet. I'm gonna click on add open scene. I'm gonna go all the way up to where we have the example with, with human body tracking. And then I'm gonna add my scene, make sure everything else is disabled or on check. And then I'm just gonna click on build and then build this to my device. And then I already had one created, I'm just gonna replace it. That was the one from the previous video. And yes, I wanna replace it. And then as soon as this is completed building to Xcode, I'm going to be running this on my device and I'll show you how it looks. All right, guys, so I finished building this to my device and I was actually pretty happy with the results. You guys are gonna like it as well. So let me show you demo one. 
This one is gonna be with the light on and you can see the, you know, I have fire all around me. The ones on the shoulders are working. The one on the feet are spawning a lot of fire. And then also my, you know, the ones on my feet. So the head one is, you know, changing pretty quickly and it just looks, it just looks really, really cool. So let me show you another demo, which I did with the light, with a little bit of a light off. So you can see this one, it looks, if I could do it at night, I think it'll look cooler. I might even post another video at night, but you can see, you know, this looks better because we don't have much more, as much lighting. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm recording early in the afternoon. So it's, you know, there's a lot of lighting in here right now. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting the source code from all the prototypes that I'm making, including this one, and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.